Hello, welcome to the Steam Game Festival Summer Edition 2020 where I'm playing loads of demos and this is Traveler's Rest. Apparently we can create our own fantasy tavern. So... Oh no, what am I trying to load? <laughs> right, let's create a character. Uh... Oh, that's just random in it. Okay, okay, right. Uh, tell you what. Blue eyes. Wait, I'm getting muddled up. I love a good character creator. Now, let me have a look at these different hair options. Classic ponytail is probably going to be it. Um, eyelashes. Chest, so... What outfit do we like better? Just put it plain for now. Back. Oh, cool. Oh, wicked. I mean, I like the backpack, it's minimalistic, but I want a weapon. Shield, that's so cool. <laughs> I like the two swords or the hammer. Do the two swords. And we can fully choose a colour as well. I've got no idea what kind of colour I'm thinking of here. Hat. Oh, cool. What are they? I'm not quite sure. What I'm looking at. Oh wait, that one's a sword. Yeah, we'll just keep to nothing there. Cloak. It would help to know kind of what you know what the game's about and stuff. I don't know, am I going for an armor look? I don't know. This is not my best creation. <laughs> Welcome to Traveler's Rest. This demo allows for two in-game days of playtime. I hope you enjoy it. The game will soon be in early access, so please remember to wishlist on Steam to support this solo dev project. This is a solo dev project, people. I love these. Um, I'm glad that it told us that as well, so we know how much time we've got. Okay, so... Uh, them keys to move, that to run. B, or click the build button to enter slash exit build mode right so we can move 
Um, while in build mode, you can place items. Right click to select. Try selecting the table. Press left click to place the item. Customers need place to sit. Place the benches so they face the table. I rotate the item. Right click to add the item to your inventory. So that doesn't need rotating. Oh crap. I added it to my inventory. I meant, meant to rotate it. Um, left click on the action, item in the action bar to place. Oh, that's alright. But I've forgotten. Oh crap. How do I rotate? Oh man! <laughs> Why have I got such a bad memory? Um. Oh, excellent. Ah. Oh, what else could it have been? Customers will also expect their table to be well lit in the evenings. Try placing the candle on the table. Exit build mode. Right click on the book on the bar to open your stock. Oh, we've got to walk to it. Storing food here will add it to your bar's stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. This only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. Okay, we don't have anything at the moment. Press O or click the closed sign to open your tavern. Um to serve some gruel. Remember to exit build mode. If you have a quest, click the question mark on the left side of the screen to view it. Yeah, so serve six customers and we'll get another set of tables if we do that. Excellent. Um, your first customer has entered the tavern. Provide good service and a well-kept tavern to earn reputation. How do I serve? A customer has requested an item. Click on the customer to serve them. Must be behind bar. This is like medieval Dino Dash, isn't it? But different. <laughs> do you know what? I've been looking for a Dino Dash game for such a long time. Just had a run in with oh I missed it. Thank you guys. Come back again and we'll have another table for you soon. Temperature is perfect, comfort is 44, cleanliness is perfect. These guys don't have anywhere to sit though. Oh yeah they do. The table sits six. Um quest complete. Close up the tavern so you can place new items. Call last orders by pressing O or clicking the open sign. This will prevent new customers from entering your tavern. Um, pressing it again will force it to close but you'll lose reputation. That's so good. I love... That's a lot of little details that have been thought of there. So we'll just let them eat. No one else is allowed in. Enjoying the gruel, of course. What is gruel? Isn't that what Oliver eats? A table has become dirty. That was like a dread, like music of dread. Um, click and hold on the table to clean it. I can't clean on it while they're there though. You know this is a tavern. Oh god, I'm not quick enough. Did I, I didn't just kick them all out, did I, by accident? Set up a table using your new items. Enter build mode and left click the I yeah. Okay. Nice. And then build mode. Ah, to rotate. Open your tavern and serve the new and serve new customers. Complete your current quest to unlock the crafting room. Crafting room as well. Uh, 
Um, serve 10 balls of gruel. And unlock a crafting room. One of your customers had dirtied your floor. How dare they? <laughs> Press Z or click the tavern vision button to highlight the dirt. Tavern vision will highlight important objects such as dirty tables, floor dirt and important customers. Clean the floor by equipping the mop and clicking the stain. Nice. So you can kind of choose what view you want to be in. Dirty people. I love how we just smack the floor. Oh my god, these people are so dirty. Coming! I need stuff. Serve 10 balls of gruel. So we have earned grog, a keg of watered down booze, and porridge. But we only have a limited stock. This is really good. You can now serve porridge and grog. Right click the book and add the porridge to your stock inventory. Uh, how do I... Ah! Right click the beer tap and add the keg of grog to the slot. Customer has requested a beer. Click and hold on the beer tap to create a beer and then click to serve the customer. Right, wait then, because um Right. How do I just serve back to the gruel? I need my mop. Sorry, I know you want Oh crap, people are leaving angry. Oh no. I'm trying! Everyone wants beer now. Suppose no one wants to come into a tavern for gruel. The table turns full on green when it's dirty. Oh, it might just be because I'm in that mode. <laughs> there we go, it's gone from messy to perfect. Quest complete! Serve five mugs of grog. Serve five bowls of porridge. Um, why are people not happy? to not be happy about everything's clean oh no now there's some dirt but oh jeez oh man we're getting a queue at the bar oh wait I can run can I <laughs> everybody wants beer Where's the mess? Oh, on the tables again. I'm gonna run out of beer. I'm only one woman, man. Right, let's clean up. I just think they get um, angry very quickly with the mess. I suppose, which is fair enough, because I don't like being in a you know dirty place if I'm going to eat. There's 
My reputation is that bad or good? Yeah, that's good. Said about unlocking the crafting room. These guys, the beer. Oh god. Give this guy a beer and then clean the table. Didn't realise before that we could clean while they're at the table. That's helpful. Oh damn. I'm on my last thing of grog. Shite. Oh man, what have I done? Where did my keg just go? Right, right. Sorry everyone, bear with me, I'm new here. <laughs> okay. Um My god, now we've got porridge and beer going on. Uh how do I serve porridge? Do I put it in the <laughs> on top? No. Oh. Right, I need to hurry up and serve all these people so that I can get to cleaning. Oh no, I'm like, I've never worked in a food establishment before. Can you tell? Right. Coming. I love that animation. Brilliant. It's not too bad. Once I get time to clean. What does that take in? Unlock the crafting room found on the north side of the tavern. Oh. Unlock the crafting room found on the north side of the tavern. Accept. Craft some porridge. Right, I'm going to have to just go and tend to things. Oh, maybe I should close the thing and not have it open 24-7 maybe. Everyone's back onto the beer. Time to clean up again. This is so good. Oh, don't leave while you've got a dirty table. Let me, let me fix that for you. PM everyone is hard on the beer by now. It's like weather spoons in here. I'm sorry, I know you need thing, but let me just go and have a look. This is your crafting room. First let's make some porridge. Right click the oven to pop into its crafting menu. Each crafter has a list of recipes. These shown Require ingredients, fuel and time. Click the recipe name to begin crafting. Some recipes require fuel. Click the log on the right side of the crafting menu. This will remove the log from your inventory. Add, oh yeah, I do. And add five fuel to the crafter. Right. So 
some extra oh, some recipes can be modified this allows extra ingredients to be added some recipes have mandatory modifiers hover over the exclamation point to view these so that needs grain porridge requires grain try dragging the barley from your inventory into one of the slots this will create barley porridge craft each recipe takes time to craft once the timer is full click the crafter to collect the items wait for your porridge to cook porridge to cook it'll only take a few seconds oh gosh a few seconds i don't have time will it burn it's gonna be chaos outside i've called last orders at five o'clock now let's brew some beer Place malt house from your inventory and start crafting malted barley. Enter build mode. Why build mode? Oh my gosh! How do I pause? No! Ah, oh, is that that? Oh god! Oh, that's good. You have reached a new reputation milestone. Earn. No, each milestone unlocks new items and mechanics. View these by clicking the arrow under the reputation bar. Brewing techniques. Let me just go and check on this. Because, um... I serve these guys their beers. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unlucky. Um... I'm cleaning it. You shouldn't be leaving mess when you go then, should ya? Right, I've closed up. Because I needed... I was getting overwhelmed. <laughs> right. We haven't even served five bowls of porridge yet. Um... So is this what it was talking about? Oh, it doesn't go on the wall, it goes on the floor. Right. Malt barley. We need more fuel. And I feel like we might as well just put loads of fuel in. But... Malt intake's a while. Right click crafter to view how long the current recipe will take you can reopen your tavern and serve porridge while you wait um right click on the crafter to see how long two hours but it's in game time so that'll be well three hours so that'll be 10 30. this is really good by the way i really really like it um so we can open up again now then your tavern has become cold. Use the fireplace to keep your tavern the perfect temperature. God damn it. So much to manage. It's good though. This is why we don't put all of our logs on the thing. There we go. I love how it's got an on button. <laughs> Let's serve out all of our porridge. Oh, we got dirt. Oh, I'll get it in a sec. Um, that's molten. Still serving the porridge. Is this must be gruel then? What we're serving. Is that why we're not serving porridge? Ah, we didn't have it in the bar. Dope. No. I'd like this on Switch, I think. Two 
two more and we'll have done that other thing. I always think if I lived in an adventure game, this is probably what I'd do. Like not our choice, just I wouldn't be good at anything else, so... And to be honest, it is quite an interesting job, like you get to speak to all the adventurers and stuff. But it's disappointing that I probably wouldn't be an adventurer. Oh wait, is this our stats as well? Because like, we're going to need to sleep. And we can probably decide our opening times and stuff, can't we? Oh, the fire's gone off again. It's cold. We'll stay open for as long as the fire is burning. Our um, beer will be brewed soon. Do you know, I don't know how there isn't... I can't think of a game that does this like this does. And I've looked for such a long time. Like I said, I used to love Dino Dash. And while it's a very different type, I haven't actually played like a simulator like this before where you can manage the stock and like serve things up, keep it clean. Like this is something what I have been looking for. And the fact there's crafting as well, that's awesome. I'm really, 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 really impressed. Create what by boiling grains? Place the mash tun and create some mild wort. Check back later when it's finished. Old doormat. Place what? Barley, bucket of water, bucket. Refill using the well. I'll tell you what as well. Uh, shite. I'll be back with that. I have customers. Everyone wants porridge. I think I should close up soon. The tables are full. I'm putting it on last orders. And then like at the end of your day you can like restock, you can see what you need to craft, you can plan your next day. I love it. I would run more if I could get used to using shift. Excellent! Everyone is having a good time. Oh no! Everyone just started leaving mess everywhere. It's getting late. Call last orders to give your customers a chance to finish their drinks before closing up. Way ahead of you. Right, um, now I needed to go here, oh so things go straight in, right okay because this is full, so if I put, uh, i just put my empty keg in there for now. Oh god, how do I get out of this? Right, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna put this... Don't know why... I wanna put that down. Oh, maybe I need to be in build mode. Here, right, okay. <laughs> Get there in the end. So 
Some item will increase your tavern's comfort, comfort level. Multiple of the same item will diminish this effect. A greater comfort level will keep your customers happy. So you can't just... I like that, see. Um, in some games, uh, most games, you, you can just use decorative items, any decorative items, and you can just spam the best ones. So I like that you can't do that here. I don't know where we get logs from, though. So that's going. You're about to pass out. Get to bed before 3 a.m. Crap. Oh, I should have set some beer brewing. This is your bedroom. Sleep in your bed to save the game. If you stay up too late, you will pass out. Yes. We have one more day. This is amazing, by the way. Click a save to override or create a new one. Please keep multiple saves during early, early access to avoid losing progress. I feel like these, this dev, was this the solo game? That's amazing. Um, I've just remembered that. I feel like this dev cares. You know what I mean? Like really cares. Press complete boiling. Now for the last stage, ferment fermentation. Place the fermentation tank and create some mild ale. You can add modifiers such as fruit to give your beer and uh, give your beer a custom name. You can order in stock using the post box outside. Okay. Um. So we need to build a fermentation tank. What do you need? You need the what? Ale, yeast, and empty keg. Do you have to put something in there? What if I put. <laughs> no. Um, I can get some more porridge cooking. Kinda. And get some more of this on. Oh, E. Right, okay, okay. Brill, so that beer will be ready at in three hours seven, eight, nine, ten, ten thirty. We can't do this until we've got malted barley. Don't know where we get that from. So crafting beer isn't easy. Before opening your tavern, consider stocking up for the day. You'll need more logs for crafting and for the fireplace. Visit the post box outside the tavern to order in supplies. What's upstairs as well? Oh cool, we can go outside. Outside your tavern, you'll find a post box to order supplies and a delivery box, a notice board to accept order quests and higher stats, a well to collect water, a farming area to the north. Oh, min. Um, I can't remember what I'm doing. Here. Here you can order in items for your tavern. Simply click an item and add it to your basket or shift click to add 10. Um, after ordering, the items will appear in the delivery box outside your tavern in three hours. Nice. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know what I'll need. Oh, there's all sorts. Oh, mint. Like, there, look, like there's beef and stuff, so I bet you'll learn more recipes and stuff as you go along. Um, what was that meant to be by logs? Ooh, 
We've got no money. <laughs> we can't buy anything if we want to because we've got no money. Every five days, five random ingredients will be available to order marked with a star. Specific ingredients must be farmed through the farming tech tree. Um... Where's our money then? Because I thought that was our money. Oh, there's our money. Right, we're, we're good. Um, can we collect these logs? Oh, nice. Can we collect mushrooms? Higher staff orders. Right, you can get orders when you are at level four. Higher staff, level seven. Right, um. Oh, there's. Oh, crap. There's the well. Might as well fill up all of our buckets. I like that it's just instant as well. We can't collect the mushrooms. Since we've only got this day, I'm just gonna have a quick look about. If I see another stick. That I missed up at the top, maybe. Maybe it's just decoration. I love the music as well, it's perfect. Progress through the main quest line to unlock the farm. Right. Alright, let's. Shite. And you can create a proper little routine, can't you? So, wait a sec. These are done. Oh, and can I just put this stuff in here so I can take better stock of what I've got? Paper coasters. Where did all this stuff come from? Um. Create. Make some more porridge. Make some more malt barley. We've got the stuff. That's still going. Keep pressing that button by accident now. We've got the stuff here. Do we have enough logs? Right, everything. Oh, we might as well do some more porridge while we're here. Oh crap! How do I get out of this? Um. Oh god. Oh, I was gonna put another one on, wasn't I? It all flows very well. Um, like you're not getting really stuck in any menus or anything like that. It just all feels really good. Um, so. I've got plenty of porridge. Should open up probably. I just wanted to. Um, 
There's my logs. Um, and just I wanted to fill these up again while I can. And I'm gonna open up now. Oh, was I gonna put these on the table? It's just gonna have to have porridge. Do I have any ale? No, it's still fermenting, isn't it? Or something. Let's have a look. It's done now. It might actually be finished. Congratulations, you have brewed your first beer. Press T to view your tech trees, okay, and learn new recipes. Experiment with new ingredients to create your perfect brews and food. I love it. need to get that from there first don't I so um tech tree tech trees are how you learn new recipes each tech tree costs skill points which can be earned from crafting skill points are split into physical nature and mental the three bars on the bottom left of your screen indicate oh indicate your progress toward your next skill point cool so um oh interesting mead porter pill and then you've got cooking farming building social oh, the, oh this is fantastic i am thoroughly thoroughly impressed with this game oh geez here you go everyone, porridge for all! So it must just get cold at night. I should probably prioritise the tables over the floor because Dirty tables are disgusting. More disgusting than a dirty floor. <laughs> At least it seems to be quite forgiving. I'm doing that wrong. This goes... In here. Oh, that's mint. Um, I wonder if the porridge goes off. A customer is being rowdy. They are marked with an exclamation mark. Click on them to try and calm them down. A rowdy customer will upset nearby customers. Calm down, okay, I'll calm down. Just give everyone porridge. Yeah, so what would be the most helpful staff would be cleaners. And then I guess eventually maybe you would want cleaners and someone at the bar as well. Serving things so that you can craft and keep the stock sorted out. Um, Oh, unlock a farming plot. Damn. Oh, do I just sack off the... Do I sack off the tavern for a bit just to go and... Uh... Yeah, I think I do, you know. Um, so just so that I can follow the thing a bit more. Um... Farming and carpentry tech trees open. Excellent. And then, oh, and then we can make flour from our barley and shit. Uh, I 
and I guess that we can use that in cooking so we can make tea porridge soup oh did I just buy the soup talent I'm not sure roasting sausages pies shish kebab stew jams pickles bread so much choice um what's this farming yeah oh yeah so yeah yeah and then we can turn this into oh this is amazing like this is organic simulator roots apples and pears oh look at how many different things oh man i like wow I, unbelievable this game is So if I set this back away, could put another ingredient in if I had one, but not that. Have I got anything that I can put in here? Yeah, I do. Uh, I was thinking I could try and use. They didn't go very far, but... Right. Uh, I've got plenty of porridge. Crap, we don't have very long, to be fair. I could clean this later. Oh, I wanted to check upstairs as well. Renting rooms! <sighs> Fantastic. I think... This might be the best game that I've played so far during these demos. Um, farming. Unlock the farming plot found outside to the north. We've been awarded with corn and barley seeds, which we can go and plant. Um, this is your farm. Left click with your spade equipped to till the earth. Left click with a seed to plant it. You will need the required tech to grow most crops. Yeah, so I have the required tech for that. I wonder if every day, like, there's new logs that you can go and pick up as well, just to keep you stocked. Although, I suppose if you're earning money, you'll probably just won't bother, but... Five and five. We need to get all of this stuff done before three a.m. Crops will go grow over time in three stages. Once fully grown, harvest with the sickle. So you don't even you don't have to water them or anything. They just grow on their own. I feel like this game has made such good decisions. Um, I don't know how long it takes. It's probably not going to be in one day, right? I'm opening back up. So I have beer, I have um, porridge, oh it's cold, it's cold, my bad. Wouldn't believe what I saw on the road here, I would love to know. Properly loving this. Um, I feel like at the start you're going to have everything to do, and then 
as you progress and you hire some staff you're gonna be a bit more like free to experiment so when I keep comparing it to Dino Dash I know it's not at all like Dino Dash by the way um, but it's kind of like cross Dino Dash with um, Stardew Valley-ish not with the relationships but with the crafting and stuff um, and like you know bits of farming it's very much about management but in a fun way and I've already felt so much progression So yeah, you're probably going to want to close up at 12 so that you can set everything away cooking and stuff in time before you have to go to bed. But yeah, it's like amazing that you can decide when to open, you can decide when to shut. Totally up to you, you can prioritise what you want to prioritise. I think I'm going to call last orders. Oh no, the customer has become a nuisance. They will annoy everyone around them. Hit them with your mop, mop to kick them out of the tavern. That's hilarious. I don't know if I did that by accident. Everyone just like left. Wait, let me clean this table before you go. Right, that's our last customer. So that goes into there. I feel like I would lay this out a bit different. one log is five fuel one stick is one fuel and everything needs like five fuel or something to go so yeah that would need five sticks or one log I still think I've got plenty of um thing is that done? Can I set another one away? Not that it matters because we're about done, but uh. Just quickly, I want to just go and check on the crops and see if they've changed. I wonder if there's any penalty for passing out rather than going to bed. They still look the same, don't they? They said three stages, so maybe it takes three days. Oh, is that that? Yeah, that's what I've um, made, so I can put that in here. It's gonna tell me to go to bed any second. Ah, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm meant to do. Put it on this tap. Because we've got multiple taps. So then. That's so cool! So then you've got to see what they're asking for. I mean, I guess they're both, yeah, they're both the same. But by the time you're making different beers, that's amazing. Brilliant, 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 brilliant game. That's gonna be it. I thought it was calling me noob. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so. <laughs> oh, we got a cat! Your two days are rough. This is the end of the Traveler's Rest demo. 
There is still a lot more to explore such as tavern events, important visitors, hiring staff, renting rooms and more so please remember to wishlist on Steam to support this solo dev project. Thank you for playing. Amazing. Phenomenal. Congratulations. <laughs> like it's such a good game. Like I think it's gonna be amazing. If it doesn't do amazing then I don't know what to say because excellent. Really 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 liked it. I, I don't have a single thing that I would change. So bravo <laughs> like full-on bravo mint right okay that was traveler's rest um thank you for watching and i'll catch you for the next one bye